Okay, in this video, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a quiz. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on my quiz. I already chose it. You can choose to jumble the order if you want to. Uh, you can also show a leaderboard if you want to. You can show answers. You can also set a, the question timer or have the memes on after each question. It is totally up to you. So, jumbling order is kind of handy if you are having students fly through these questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit proceed. And to get students connected, they just visit joinquizzes.com. Okay, now that I'm on quizzes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in the numbers 10244 for this game. I'm going to put down my keyboard and hit go. It's going to ask me for my name. I'll type in here, nerd, and then I hit go. And once you have everyone connected that you want connected, then what happens is you can hit start. Right now it says I have one troop and it shows who's there. I can also delete students out just like you could with Kahoot. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And it is time based. The students answer as quickly as they possibly can. They'll say go. And so the question is another question. So I think the answer was two. It gives you points. There's the meme. It'll go on to the next question automatically. Who is this nerd? All of the above. And then all the students answer as quickly as they can. They get points by answering quickly. So, like I said, this is student paste. And so after I'm all done, it shows the student data, shows how they performed. Uh, and they also have social outlets, which does not apply to elementary students. So they can quickly see their results at the end and then you have the option of saving the data.